During the season, Connecticut led the Big East in rebounding. In the Big Ten, Michigan State did the same. And both teams like to prevent their opponents from running the break. Their meeting in Saturday's national semifinals also features a pair of top-tier coaches. Jim Calhoun has led UConn to a pair of national championships, while Tom Izzo guided Michigan State to one nine years ago. But as these two powerhouses prepare for Saturday's matchup, the similarities end there. While the Spartans prefer to slow down the game's pace, UConn wants to rev it up and race the ball up court. In terms of strategy, two key matchups could separate UConn, the top seed in the West region, and MSU, the number two seed in the Midwest. Husky center Hashim Thabit is a defensive force who's blocked 150 shots this season. That's more than four blocks a game. Meanwhile, Goran Sutan averaged just over 10 points and eight rebounds a game, but the Spartans' big man nearly doubled his scoring average in MSU's last two wins. And his long-range game may pose problems for UConn. Goran Sutan, the center for Michigan State, likes to drift out and, and take some long shots. He's a European player. All European big men can shoot the three, and he wants to take some. Now, Hashim to beat the 7 foot 3 center for Connecticut is not going to come outside to get him. If he does, that's going to be a lot of trouble for UConn. So does UConn switch a smaller guy onto Sutan and then worry about him maybe getting by him? Michigan State may also try to get the ball inside to see if they can get the beat in foul trouble. That strategy helped Syracuse in its epic six overtime win over UConn in the Big East tournament when the Huskies big man fouled out. And then there's a key matchup in the backcourt. Can the Spartans contain guard A.J. Price, who leads UConn in scoring at 14.7 points per game? Travis Walton of Michigan State, the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, he's going to get A.J. Price. And he's got to find a way to stop A.J. Price, who uses screens really well, who finds a way to get open. If Price can shake free of Walton, that could be a huge boost for UConn. But if Walton can limit Price, the result could be a lower scoring game, just what the Spartans want. And finally, if Michigan State wants a supportive home crowd, it just might have that too. This semifinal will be played at Ford Field in Detroit, just about 90 miles from the Spartans' campus in East Lansing. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.